Hi, this is uh, Scott Borowski, editor of Tourist Attractions and Parks. I'm here in the uh, Dianex booth at IAPA uh, with Craig Lowen, the CEO. And why don't you tell us a little about what your um, about some of your new things that you're doing? Sure. Well, we're a dynamic pricing company, and what we do is develop customized software solutions for attractions and operators in a variety of different industries to optimize revenue. So you think about the typical pricing model in the attractions industry today, it's built around a generally a static price or a series of seasonal prices. Uh, we use data and algorithms developed by our in-house team of PhD economists to figure out what is the truly optimal price for each day of the year, and then we update those prices over time. So our clients find that not only do they generally see significant revenue growth, but dynamic pricing is a tool that can be used to shift attendance from peak to off-peak periods. Uh, it can be used to provide a stronger motivation for advanced ticket purchase. And uh, we even have clients who use it as a strategy for enhancing community accessibility by having a broader array of prices, many of which are lower than they might have been able to put into the marketplace before. Now, you do go beyond just amusement parks. You hit all sorts of attractions. Right. Um, amusement um, amu uh, attractions are actually a fairly small part of our current business portfolio just because of its stage of adoption in the industry. We do a lot of work in, the li in all areas of the live entertainment world, sports world. We've worked in retail, worked in media, a whole variety of different sectors. I will say, though, that in terms of the, the activity in our pipeline and the interest that we've seen, we've seen a, a groundswell of interest in, uh, in this strategy in the last uh, 6 to 12 months in this industry. So we're, we think in five years, dynamic pricing is going to be standard practice in the space. Well, we're seeing that, as you mentioned, in sports teams. We do go to them uh, as part of tourist attractions audience, For sure. and I know that I think it'll it'll evolve certainly the museums, botanical gardens, absolutely caverns. I mean the whole attraction marketplace, and you may even start seeing it in family entertainment centers yeah. uh, because it's a natural uh, a natural way to go. I think so too, and it's not just um, principally the interest is around admission revenues, but dynamic pricing can be used for you know, express passes and uh, possibly food and beverage. We have a client that's used it for pricing their cabana rentals at a water park. So there's lots of different areas where um, dynamic pricing might be helpful. Yeah, and I was thinking the same thing. You can then send people to their retail stores, food and beverage, you know, all this added spending for per caps which is what drives profits. Right, right. Yeah, we had uh, somebody come by our booth today and they have a self-serve beer kiosks in their parks and they were asking could dynamic pricing apply to that because they've got you know weather affects demand and sometimes they've got extra inventory they want to provide a price incentive to move out some stock and absolutely it could it could apply to a situation like that okay great thank thank you it's great talking with you thank you thank you